what is it that you do for a living? I've been an educator in the Crane School District for the past 30 years. Uh, when you enter the Crane District, was there uh, some form of initiation? I guess you'd call it an initiation. We had um, a couple of days ahead of time, which was a staff development um, time, and so it was, you know, this is our curriculum, this is our school, this is the way we do things, so I guess you'd consider that an initiation. Does the Crane School System define itself in opposition to other Yuma schools? Uh, I think that they do. Crane has um, kind of a philosophy of the Crane way that's very much um, a, a, a staple for the, the years that I've been in Crane. So it's uh, kind of the idea of Crane uh, wants to distinguish itself from the other school districts in town. Um, Crane wants to be the best school district. Um, so I think that the Crane way kind of defines that, um, the difference between District 1, for example, and, and Crane. So how would you, as an educator for the past 30 years in uh, Crane, um, define the Crane way? I'm not sure that there's a definition that everyone would agree on for the Crane way, but I think the philosophy is um, that Crane is always striving to do the best. Crane wants to be the best. Our superintendent um, wants us to be an A school district, so therefore we are always out, Crane is always out seeking um, new and different ways, what are different ways we can do it, um, and I think that goes back to your other question about the, you know, making a distinction from the other school districts. Um, Crane doesn't look to District 1 to see what they're doing. They look outside of of um, Yuma, they look outside of the state oftentimes, so really looking for sort of the new best ways to move kids and, and give them a better education. What motivates you as a member of the Crane School District to remain in the Crane District? I think I buy into the Crane way. I, I'm pretty driven and pretty motivated as a teacher. I, I'm always pushing myself to do the best that I can do, and I think my philosophy goes along with Crane. Um, in that regard. Um, even though I've been doing this for 30 years, I'm always looking for different techniques, I'm looking for different ways of doing things. I don't do the same things year after year, so I think my personal philosophy fits in well with the Crane philosophy. Uh, where are some of Crane's most significant rituals and why do you have them? Uh, one of the rituals that Crane has had for as many years as I can remember is uh, like a fall gathering, kind of a fall picnic. Um, the whole district gets together and um, kind of celebrates the, past, the successes of the past year. So um, I think one of the reasons we have that is that celebration of how are we doing, we have a district goal, are we getting closer to meeting that district goal. Um, the ritual right now is every school, uh, school's cafeteria makes a cake with a logo from your school, but also with your letter grade from the state of Arizona based on your previous AIM scores. So it's kind of that competitiveness, I think, too, from school to school because you're there and they're cutting their A cake and your cake is a B cake and you're like, I want to have an A cake, uh, you know, as well. Uh, in the Crane District, what artifacts are used to go along with the Crane Way? I guess an artifact that I that I think of is, is the data that we use. Um, in Crane, we have a, a curriculum that's called Beyond Textbooks. Um, you know, Crane's goal is being in a district, and so Crane has purchased this Beyond Textbooks um, curriculum testing things from a district outside of Tucson that has been a, a district for many, many years. So the artifacts that come with that are um, objectives that we uh, use on a weekly basis. There are essential questions that go along with the, um, the, uh, the objectives. There are um, um, assessments that go along, there are suggestions for things that you can use for your curriculum. So I think those would all be artifacts then that help Crane drive toward that goal of being in a district. Uh, what is it that you do for a living? I'm an educator. I teach middle school math. I've been teaching in the Crane District in Yuma, Arizona for 35 years. Does the Crane school system define itself in opposition to other Yuma schools? I don't think so. I think they just try to better themselves every year. I think they try to get the get the bang for their buck, which they don't have very much of, and try to improve. What motivates you as a member of the Crane School District to remain in the Crane District? Well, at this stage, I am teaching in the Gallon Achievement Program, which uh, I have a group of students who are in my classes based on their test scores. And uh, it's equivalent to an AP class, say, in high school. And uh, every kid is motivated and uh, really want to learn so that way we are not bogged down by discipline. And uh, it's really exciting.